plus time. You know, maybe the game failed for him, but... Uh, I'm going second. Uh, just a nice little intelligence for this negative one will feel good. I'm going to play uh, a two body size borrowing fat tissue to make everyone else worry that I'm playing a borrowing carnivore. Uh, not borrowing, a fat tissue carnivore. So, uh, if I can't eat, I have wasted one card on this body size, but hopefully if I can't eat, everyone else has also wasted cards, and I'll be fine. And the only way that someone else can eat without me eating uh, and not be down at one species is basically if this is a cooperation. Uh, the other alternative where I don't eat is he eats, I'm hungry, and someone has made a pack hunting or three body size carnivore because I don't eat and then they eat me and still survive. Or any type of carnivore, really. There's undefended species. Yeah, borrowing carnivores and scaring people into defensive traits. Um, I'm borrowing fat tissues. I'm definitely saying the right words tonight. Uh, borrowing fat tissues. It's good. So, yep, he went defensive. He just went one species with two body size. And that's a cooperation. So, uh, I'm going to get one. He's going to get one. He's only got one. Um, this guy gains one back from the card, so he's uh, he and I are doing equally well, except I didn't really get much benefit out of my fat tissue. And he's been able to get some food. The best thing about this food that he got is uh, now he's lost and still has to deal with it. So I'm just going to put in this fertile. This round, I'm going to do nothing. Um, make people wonder how little food there is. Uh, next round is when I probably try and uh, put up the carnivore. Okay, that's nice. Uh, that is a good amount of food. I get one, this guy gets two, loss, loss, loss. Uh, but his uh, stuff is going well there. So as much as he's been losing cards, he's been gaining them as much as he's losing them. Like, I don't know why he thought that food would get around to him this time. Uh, so I'm not sure about that population, but this uh, this was solid. Cool, uh, I just want everyone to starve. Obviously that can't actually starve this guy, so going high would be uh, an interesting 
counter option there. Then I want to see if it looks like I can make a carnivore. And ask myself if uh, pack hunting is a better idea than any of these other options. I think pack hunting is a good idea to save. If I think everything is safe, I think I do this. Save the pack hunting. I uh, hope I get some good attacks going. Now it's entirely plausible. Ah, so the one reason that I would want to go pack hunting is so I can use uh, population instead, so I can attack this species in particular. It just becomes much more dangerous. Uh, having the four body size is better defended if anyone else is making carnivores. Uh, this is a risk, but I think it's a risk I have to take. It's a risk I don't have to take that riskily. I can do it like this. Okay, so this is going to be uh, a burrowing warning call. Uh, so having an ambush would be great. If I had it, I'd play it. This could be anything. I'm not too worried. I'll wait until I know what's going on there. And this is edible. In case this is a carnivore, I just want to save this species. I didn't quite see that coming. It can eat this. This one can eat this one. This one can eat this. I can eat that. And this guy's just sitting here laughing. I really hope people uh, eat this, but they won't because this only needs one anyway. And if someone eats this, it means I can't eat the fourth one, and this guy gets it. The best play right now is this guy should attack this. Um, unfortunately, my best play is saving my own species and attacking this if he doesn't attack me. But we need to stop this guy. So my, my other best play is that I actually want to stop him getting all of his food. Well, I can't do that anymore. Um, yeah. So actually, yeah, making that now, uh, not so good. Uh, so Aku is uh, very much in the lead right now. Um, so I do want this guy to eat as much as it can. So I'm going to attack this one. But I also really want all the carnivores to survive. So I'm hoping he just eats this twice, while I don't eat him in between. Oh, why isn't this guy playing? He should be taking the food. Not sure why he's waiting for the timer to time down. Okay, I'm happy with that. Because it's our best chance of eating this guy, I'm going to let him take the last one before I eat him. Cool, that's exactly what I wanted. So yeah, obviously if I'd seen an ambush that round, that's what I would be playing. Uh, I didn't. So instead I'm going to put in this horns. Uh, just make a climber out here. Uh, I'll save one of the pack huntings. And just leave this on uh, one population so I can wait until I get a good card before I do anything with it. 
Now, there aren't any climbers out. Hopefully no one plays a climbing onto their carnivore, because if so, it kind of hurts. Um, there's four. I think I'm fine to try and eat two of them. So if, that, if that's climbing, eh, I'm kind of fucked. I hope it's an ambush, because that's what we need right now. Someone here needs to play an ambush. If he's like cooperating there, we're just gonna eat him, so... Uh, that's a symbiosis, solid. Based on what's going on here, I'm assuming that's just something like a climbing or um, a hard shell even, with, uh, especially with the extra body size. Hard shell. Maybe fat tissue, because he thinks no one's gonna get an ambush on him. Uh, it's a dangerous game to play, thinking no one will get that ambush. Yeah, I think uh, it was a bad move all round for us not starving that one population. Sure, it doesn't do that much on the whole, but it would have been good. And we could have done it. So again, if either one of these are climbing, well, um, thanks for attacking me and giving Aku the game. That's a defensive hurting, that's a fat tissue. Um, this one is big enough to attack that one, so he's going to eat. This guy's not going to eat because he can't. Uh, this is all still fine. And yeah, breaking it up is going to take some work. This may even be one of the rare instances where if I happen to draw into uh, a carnivore ambush and I reckon I can get enough body size here, I will even attempt to have the two carnivores going. Which is quite frankly insane. Uh, certainly didn't draw into it, uh, but there's plenty of food for me. And uh, I'm now eating before all of the carnivores. So that means I can do some crazy things like making another fat tissue burrowing. Maybe giving it a body size, putting up a symbiosis next to it or something, I don't know. Burrowing, fat tissue, uh, foraging. I uh, can't give it the body size. That's unfortunate. Not quite enough cards for it to have the body size and the foraging and get this symbiosis going. Uh, we'll play it like that. I've put in plenty of food. He might have just suddenly gone carnivore, so I'm just going to bump that in. Because that's very troubling. If you did, actually, this doesn't work either, does it? Ugh. Okay, if somehow this is a carnivore, it looks less likely with only one trait. I'm assuming it's a co op nah, fat tissue cooperation. That makes sense. Uh, just in case, I'm going to put the two population in here. Uh, I'm still going to leave the symbiosis here to save it. Uh, just in case anyone gets any weird ideas. Uh, I'm still waiting for the cards I need to actually attack this guy. Well, for at least one of us to have the cards to attack this guy.
Okay, uh, I assume he doesn't want me to attack him, so that's probably still defensive. But I'm not sure what he plans to do with a carnivore that can't attack anything. Like, it kind of has to be uh, something that can attack this, right? Uh, yeah, it's a climbing that can't attack anything. Uh, well, it can attack his one own species there, and then, like, the horns. Oh, everything here is nearly full. That was just a long neck and a lot of, uh, body size. Interesting. Uh, cool. A big pack hunter would have actually been able to deal with this. Uh, it would have had to have reached at least nine. He spent two here and has six. He could have only reached eight. Uh, if he didn't put the climbing down, he could have reached nine. We didn't know what it was, so I can't really fault him for not just pushing everything onto stats on that carnivore. Uh, so I've still got one more round in me before I actually need to eat again with this carnivore. This guy's... he's not been, like, scoring like crazy. If I get a good counter to him, I still get to kill him. Uh, just next round's not a good round for doing that. And there's only one round afterwards. Uh, yeah, I'm not attacking the horns and extincting myself, and... no, that's just bad. Well, it's hard to complain about having a fertile. But this guy gets more out of, uh, like, everything than me right now. But anyway, we'll put in the fertile, put in a bunch of body size here just to make people wonder what's going on. I'll put two in over here. That seems fine. Get up to three. I can push this to three uh, population if I need to next turn. Uh, next turn, I have to deal with this somehow. But yeah, as you've seen, I haven't really seen any ambushes to even have an attempt at this. I reckon early this game, I had a pack hunting that I just ignored for other reasons. So yeah, I'm still behind him, without him uh, significantly falling over somehow. Yeah, which uh, he really can't do now. It's too big to fail. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can't beat him. Again, this guy just gets to attack that. Unsatisfying. So when three of us had carnivores, the fact that no one came up with a solution to this when they were available, uh, either people just played their hands poorly, I couldn't see their hands, or we just all got royally screwed by the deck and couldn't kill him. So unfortunately, because I have uh, this carnivore that can attack here, we don't get auto-feed. Then, so we've just all got to keep feeding manually. Yeah, no. Wow, a, um, a, a climbing. Good, that's, that's exactly what I need. My best bet right now is to get enough population on this species that, 
Uh, I can... I probably should have put a high number in, uh, just rethinking that. Uh, enough population here that the defensive herding works. I would have loved to have uh, put the foraging on instead of the... Oh, come on. If I can't make the defensive herding work, I'll just use the foraging. Put the cooperation up. Give it that so he can attack it once. And put this population over here. So two, uh, two is a bit of a low ball there. Maybe it'll work out for me, but I have my doubts. Uh, yeah, this guy gets to attack this once, because that was the best option that I had. Uh, this guy can only eat two, so this guy's actually not eating all that much this round. That's good, so I'll get to fill up both fat tissues. Uh, the only responsible thing to do here is to eat this before I borrow it. Uh, it doesn't really matter if he eats it now or later, I can only get 200 in one turn. So it's reasonable to do whatever he wants first, but it's still sensible to attack me. And if he attacks again now, we'll get the auto-feed. Uh, but if he eats with this first, uh, we have to wait another round. Cool, and now we just auto-feed, and I see if I have enough? No, wow, there's not enough here to auto-feed. That's... really? Yeah, so this guy, um... 10 population, he's been raking in food. Uh, I really don't think I'm gonna catch him. So at this point, there's only one left in this fat tissue, I should eat with this one first. And then I get to eat with the other ones one at a time. Uh, which there's still enough for, so that's fine. Yeah, okay, his wasn't filling up, so that's why we didn't get to auto-feed. Uh, yeah, so I think that's a pretty solid second, just because apparently none of us ever had a warning, uh, an ambush. Uh, especially not early when we needed it. It's uh, intriguing that three of us with carnivores had zero ambushes. I don't know. 